All right, you guys, you know if you saw my last vlog that my day wasn't going so good. Today's the same day, but I'm all pumped up now and I'm feeling better. I'm all energized because I've been listening to my music, rocking out. And before I left the house this morning to go deal with all my FMLA stuff, again, from the last vlog, if you haven't seen that, go check that out. <laughs> then you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, but before I left to deal with all that crap, I started going through my closet and I just, cause the other day we were at the store and Luis was like telling me, I'm gonna buy some more hangers because we're all out of hangers. And I was like, no, 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 don't buy hangers. I seriously need to go through my closet and get rid of so much crap. So this morning, just like when I was getting my clothes for the shower, to, before I took my shower, I was already pulling crap out and making a pile. And I only did the bottom lower, like fourth corner of one side of my closet. And now I'm gonna go through and do the rest, but I just wanted to show you already how much, sorry, it's gonna get dark in here because there's like no lights. And I have a brown, you can probably see me in the mirror back there, climbing on my bed. Let's see if I can get some light in here. Luis has this giant brown blanket covering. He's got two curtains on this bed, on this window because he doesn't want it to have any light in here, but it's so dark in here. I don't like it. I'm gonna try to get a little bit. I don't have anything to pin it up with because it's really heavy and it's there's a printer sitting on top of <laughs> there's a printer sitting on top of the blanket that somebody gave us well that made a little bit more light in here so anyway this is my pile of clothing that I have that I starting that I'm starting out with and I'm gonna go through my closet and plot some more so I think this is this is pretty good this is like I don't even know this is like 10 shirts or more already I think so, yeah, one pair of pants, a bunch of shirts. Yes, I am getting rid of a, a Grinch shirt that I never wear. I don't really like the way that it fits. It's like a cute Christmassy shirt, but even though it's Dr. Seuss, it's gotta be like comfy and cute, and I don't really like this one that much. So that one's gonna be donated. And then I have like my old jewelry promotion shirts that I made for my Etsy store. I don't wear these anymore either. And I have another Dr. Seuss shirt that I'm, I loved it, but it, again, it doesn't fit right if it's kind of weird and it's old and I don't know, faded and just gonna get rid of it. Somebody else can use it. So this is the bottom corner of my closet that I went through and I still have all of these shirts to go through. And there's more back there and there's more down there. So yeah, <laughs> let's get busy sorting. And here's my, I love waffles belt that my best friend bought me when we went to England together because I was obsessed with the waffles in England. They were so amazing, but they weren't vegan, so I'll never have one again. But I love this belt anyway. It's a sea belt belt, which is really cool. I love it. Puts holes in all my shirts though. That's why I stopped wearing it. It's really cool though. I love it. Not getting rid of that. funny story about this shirt my best friend and her parents made this shirt for me because this was my nickname back in the day and like when I lived in California and uh, when I was like in middle school and I went to two years of high school ninth and tenth grade in California and my best friend again they made me this shirt right it says giggles there and on the back it's a giant smiley face right <laughs> I think I'm finally gonna get rid of this shirt, but I have to take a picture of it first to send to my best friend to show her that I still had it. But anyway, <laughs> back in the day, I used to go to church, right? And 
I got baptized and I you had to wear a white shirt you had to wear like white clothing when when I got baptized and um, I didn't think about it the fact that you'd be able to see through the robe and I wore that shirt and I got completely soaking wet and when I turned around you know to leave from you know it's in the front of the church everybody was watching it's like a tub and like I don't know a tank thing in the front of the church and everyone was there watching and when I got up to turn around to leave after being baptized they could see the smiley face through the back of my robe my white robe and I didn't even realize I didn't even plan that at all but it was so funny and it worked out perfectly and everybody thought it was so cute and funny worked out in my favor but I wasn't planning that <laughs> accidental genius I don't know but anyway I thought that was a funny story so yeah I think I'm finally gonna I'm finally gonna get rid of this I've had it for like 20 freaking years something like that <laughs> almost so uh I think that's it I mean I still have a lot left but I am a t-shirt hoarder and I love my shirts and I still have you know a crap ton that I will not be getting rid of but I have a lot of hangers now that Louise can use for when I buy new t-shirts. <laughs> I'm addicted to Tea Fury. If you guys don't know Tea Fury, it's like the best t-shirt website around. I love it. I have so many of their freaking shirts, but yeah. Someday I would like to show you guys all the designs, but I just don't know how I would do that. I'm gonna make a giant mess or you know what I mean? It would be weird, I don't know. Maybe I could just throw each one of them down on the bed and show you one at a time how the different t-shirt designs, but let me know if you'd be interested in that or not because I don't wanna go through all the effort if nobody is interested in all my cool t-shirt designs. So, or I should say dorky t-shirt designs because I'm a big dork, but yeah, anyway, so this is the pile. Well, I think it's a pretty good amount. It might be hard to tell on camera, but it's like pretty decent amount of clothing. It'll fill up a, a garbage bag. And so yeah, I'm gonna go donate that. I'm proud that I did at least something. It's better than nothing. And I only have one. Well, actually two, because I mean, I don't think anybody's gonna want this old stained Giggles t-shirt. So I have two that are gonna go in the trash. This one has a bunch of holes in the front. I love this shirt. I still to this day love this shirt, but it's becoming a little un un unwearable because it's got so many holes in it from my belts rubbing against the fabric. So this is the shirt that started my love of V-neck t-shirts. <laughs> because <laughs> I love the way v-neck I don't this one not as much but normally I love the way v-neck t-shirts fit me they're just like the perfect shape and everything for my body and I really really like them this one's a little weird it's a little boxy I think my mom bought it for me I'm not sure but I literally just found this one in my closet this morning when I was starting to go through everything and I was like well oh, I've never worn that before I'll wear it <laughs> and see if I like it it's not my favorite but anyway this did start my love of v-neck t-shirts so usually when I buy a t-shirt from my own uh, t-shirt shop, teambroccoli.threadless.com, shameless self-promo. Uh, I always buy the v-neck shirts because I really, really like them. So, anywho, well, let me not put that in that pile because then I'm gonna accidentally donate it when it needs to go in the trash. Anyway, I am done. I need to go clean, do something else now. Colored. <laughs>